Remove the temporary restoration. Clean the preparation with a polishing brush and fluoride-free cleaning paste, such as a fluoride-free Proxit. This ensures that all temporary cement residues are removed. Rinse the preparation with water spray and dry it with water and oil-free air. For optimum aesthetic results, use Variolink Aesthetic Try-In Paste to evaluate the shade of the restoration. When trying in the permanent restoration, check the shade effect, accuracy of fit, and occlusion of the restoration. Thoroughly rinse off the try-in paste with water spray after the try-in and dry the preparation with water and oil-free air. Apply Monobond Etch and Prime bonding agent to the bonding surface with a micro brush and rub it onto the surface for 20 seconds. Allow it to react for 40 seconds. Rinse off Monobond Etch and Prime with water and thoroughly dry the restoration for 10 seconds with a strong stream of air. When an adhesive eluding protocol with composites is used, reliable isolation of the operating field is indispensable. Preferably, place an anatomically shaped rubber dam, such as the Optra dam, or alternatively, use cotton rolls and a saliva ejector. Clean the preparation again with a polishing brush and a fluoride-free cleaning paste, such as a fluoride-free Proxit. Rinse the preparation with water spray and dry it with air. Avoid over-drying. Apply phosphoric acid gel, for example, Total Etch, to the enamel and allow it to react for 15 to 30 seconds. Thoroughly rinse off the gel with a vigorous stream of water and air dry the preparation until the enamel surfaces appear chalky white. Coat the entire bonding surface with Adhes Universal and scrub the adhesive in for 20 seconds. Start the procedure with the enamel surfaces. Disperse excess amounts of Adhes Universal with a stream of air until the mobile liquid film has disappeared. Make sure to avoid pooling. Light cure Adhes Universal for 10 seconds using a curing light with a light intensity of at least 500 milliwatts per square centimeter. For example, blue phase style. Apply the desired amount of Variolink Aesthetic DC directly from the Automix syringe onto the restoration. Seat the restoration and retain it in place exerting uniform pressure. Light cure cement excess for 2 seconds per quarter surface using blue phase style for example. Make sure that the distance between the light probe and the restoration is 10 mm at maximum. The gel-like excess can be easily removed with a scaler. In proximal areas, use dental floss. Like all other composite resins, Variolink Aesthetic DC is subject to oxygen inhibition. To counteract this effect, cover the restoration margins with glycerin gel or air block immediately after having removed the excess cement. Liquid Strip is an ideal product for this purpose. Light cure all cement lines again for 10 seconds per segment and per millimeter ceramic using, for example, blue phase style at a light intensity of 1,100 milliwatts per square centimeter. Rinse off liquid strip. After having removed the rubber dam, check the occlusion and functional movements and make adjustments if necessary. Finish the proximal surfaces using finishing and polishing strips. Polish the restoration margins with polishers, such as Astropole, or with discs. As a final step, apply a thin layer of Floor Protector S using a Viva brush or a conventional brush. Use the air syringe to disperse and dry the varnish.